morning guys i'm walking to the litecoin summit today the day i speak at the summit it's in there up there cosmopolitan speaking about life about crypto how live and crypto is possible and all those kinds of things the litecoin summit has been amazing i have beautiful things and experiences here in las vegas like flying with a helicopter to the grand canyon all the cool stuff um, so let's see how cool today will be when i'm speaking and what do people think of it just another day in beautiful vegas man the go live guys in the presentation uh, just came from the dressing room and everything and you can have a peek into i won't speak inside but i'm up like in five minutes las vegas litecoin foundation thank you for inviting me um, I will show you the room. Story. Uh, it has been all over the press. He's had a documentary made by the Wall Street Journal, uh, by Channel News Asia, CNBC, Arte. This is a man who went all in on Bitcoin in 2017, decided that he would completely opt out of the current financial system. He has a fascinating story, and I'm very much looking forward to hearing from him. Uh, he's going to be talking about, is an all-in Bitcoin lifestyle even possible? Can you please give Didi Taibutu a very warm welcome to the Stage. Can you hear me? Thank you guys. Thank you Litecoin Foundation for having me over here. Today um, I want to try to tell you my story. I'm going to take you on this short roller coaster ride that we as the Bitcoin family um, took the last three years. So I will start with telling who I am. My name is Didi Taihutu. If you want to put me in a box, you can call me a speaker, an author, a writer, an advisor, a vlogger, blogger. I'm living by example, and there are some few documentaries made about me. But I hate to be put in the box. That's why I am in this space. I want to think outside of the box, and I want to um, change the world. My mother always told me, Didi, do not fear life. At that point, I just wanted to accumulate wealth. I just wanted to be a millionaire before 30. So I had six years left. So what did I do? Because I didn't cope with my feelings. I just became a workaholic. Started working. Built my first company, second company, employees. Bought a huge house. First car, second car, third car. Um, I had everything I wanted. A holiday house. My kids had everything. I was happy. I was taught during my school time that accumulating wealth is the goal in life. And then you become happy if you're filthy rich. Um, my father was a professional football player. He always told me to reach the top, you need to find your passion and then train, train, and train some more. After he died, I did a funeral. I did all the inheritance and all that stuff, uh, which is not fun. Um, and I got a huge burnout. I, I couldn't get up anymore in the mornings. I was totally burned out. I told my wife, I need to reset. We need to travel. Travel for two months, three months on the beach. I found myself again. I saw my kids playing on the beach. That was the first time since 15 years. I was a workaholic, 80, 80 hours a week. And now I could see my kids grow up and that, that gave me this beautiful feeling inside that this is exactly what life was about. My family, what have, have I been doing the last years? Why do I use LightAM? Because this one makes it possible to buy, sell, exchange, send, receive Bitcoins, Litecoins, very exported, um, by using Facebook Messenger and Telegram and you have full control of your private keys, so it's non-custodial. It's a really cool project, check them out as well, because it's very easy in three minutes' time. And, and you know, that's, that's simplifying the use of Bitcoin and Litecoin for me. He lives off cryptocurrency. This guy is the pinnacle of all in. <laughs> I thought I was the man, but when I met him, I realized this guy is the real deal Holyfield. So I want him to tell you guys what it means for, for adoption of cryptocurrency. Why we need adoption? First of all, thanks for the nice words. I'm starting to blush. You know, if you haven't seen them, the lucky guy. But the first reason why adoption is needed is because we need to include the excluded. My oldest daughter of 14, she wanted to share her allowance in Bitcoin with her nephew in the Moroccan Islands in Indonesia. She was not possible to send five euros by bank account because those people don't have a bank account. She was not possible to send it with Western Union because the costs were too high. So I told her, please send it with Bitcoin. Share your link, your referral link, and teach your nephew how to accept Bitcoin. The 
it took one hour, she understood, we understood, and she says, and she says her allowance, part of her allowance, to her nephew in an Indonesian island. 98% of those islands in popularity don't have a bank account. Those people need to be included. That's what we are doing. I'm not accumulating wealth anymore because wealth is not making you happy. The ultimate goal of happiness is freedom. If you want to experience this ultimate goal of freedom and happiness, you need to start sharing and caring for other people. You need to do what we do. Yo, the world yo, and share. where's the microphone? Because it's about to be dropped. Guys, I am at the Litecoin Summit at the moment. Yep, it's beautiful over here in Las Vegas. First day was amazing. You know, flying a helicopter to the Grand Canyon and doing all that sort of stuff. Now, as you can see, I am in an art gallery style of room. Beautiful art created by Vesa. Uh, he's a crypto artist. I don't know exactly, but it has to do something with body pain at me. So probably body painting me and creating some kind of art piece out of that. Uh, why am I doing this? Because I decided in my life to never say no again and just say yes to all things I have never done before. Because you need to experience a life to fully understand life. So now I'm going to experience how body painting is going to feel. Uh, so that's really cool. I will show you the setup, what they created. Yeah. So this is the place they are setting up. It's going to be filmed for American television, they tell me as well. So, really cool. They are already messing up. Do I feel comfortable? No. <laughs> None of us do. Do I want to create new barriers and... Yeah. <laughs> I got inspired, I got to know Didi's story, and uh, in one way it started, all of a sudden the word Atlas uh, came to me, which is that he's, you know, he became a skeptic, sold everything, all in on Bitcoin, has a large family, it's a risk, he really put skin in the game. I mean, in one way he started carrying Bitcoin, the message of Bitcoin, so Atlas is carrying the world. The whole um, adventure I'm living at the moment, um, as a family, has one goal, and that's to help people all over the world to understand this beautiful evolution of technology and that it's there to share and care for each other as well. It doesn't feel awkward at all to make this vlog with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's still me, Bitcoin Didi. <clears throat> I'm being painted. It's ready. Yeah, right. You will Bitcoin. need to check the result because the result will be awesome. It will be really cool. I saw some pictures already. It was like, it's beautiful. Um, this is what crypto is about, man. Just connecting, creating beautiful entertainment and that will connect all people all over the world and get them into this new monetary system because of laughter and love and sharing.